Uh, well, today is the first step of installing this very unique uh, custom-made maintenance elevator on the uh, tower for the self-anchored suspension span. Right now, workers are either digging up by climbing the cable or, which is more likely, they're climbing ladders. And again, these are ladders that are on the outside of the tower legs as well as inside the tower legs. There's some very narrow hatches that they have to climb through. So anything that needs to get from the road deck up to any point between the road deck and the top of the tower, that's 300 feet. And they have to carry that with them, climbing up and down 300 feet of ladders through some very narrow hatches. So the, the need for this elevator kind of speaks for itself. There's very heavy equipment up there. Uh, we have dehumidification units. We have those red aviation uh, safety lights. Um, and that it's, quite, it's close to impossible to get that equipment up there without this elevator. This is about maintenance for the 150 year lifespan of the bridge. Uh, it's about eight feet tall, six feet wide, uh, four feet deep. It can hold up to about uh, 2,000 pounds, six workers. Um, and again, it's gonna ride on rails that are on the outside of the, of the legs. It has some very unique features uh, since it is outside and exposed to the elements. Um, there are some uh, wind monitoring devices that are, that are part of this that will sound an, an alarm. If winds blow at uh, higher than 40 miles an hour, we shouldn't be operating this with wind speeds that high. Um, also, it has something called a seismic clutch. Again, this, this bridge was built to move with, with an earthquake. So, and again, the tower, as I said, is made up of four individual legs. So if those legs start moving like this, that seismic clutch will al allow kind of the, the, the gears that run on the elevator track to kind of move with the, with the tower legs and keep the elevator on track. But again, in the event of an earthquake, if the tower legs do this, that elevator won't snap off the railings and fall. It'll just be able to kind of stay on the track. It, it, should, it won't move while there's an earthquake, but at the same time, if, that, if those legs move a little bit, this will stay on the track. So this, so this is a seismic safety feature for the elevator. This was custom built for this project by a USA Hoist out of, out of Chicago. Um, and again, this will, uh, it'll make six stops, including the very top of the tower. Um, people have probably been very cognizant of uh, lane closures overnight on the, on the westbound deck of the new bridge. That is for the workers to continue working on putting in the track for this elevator, uh, various safety gates at those different stops. Um, and that work is gonna continue through the summer. So even though over the next couple of days, this elevator is going to be installed at the base of the tower, so the public won't see it quite yet. It'll be at the base of the tower by the water. Uh, this will not be operational until later this, this uh, summer. And again, the, the tower is 525 feet tall. So this will go all the way from the base by the water, all the way to I think about the 515 uh, foot level.